I'm gonna try to remember the intro. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, is this weird? Yeah. Is this weird? Your pulsating foot under my butt as we sit Why next to each you, other on the couch. Is waiting? that weird? Is it weird that I make this face while I do it? Nope. Start the show. Hey everybody, welcome to Speedy, Beardy, and the Mole. I'm Rutledge Wood. I'm Tanner Faust. I'm Adam Ferrara. We used to do a show together called Top Gear mm -hmm. on History Channel. You might have seen it there, could have seen it around the world somewhere, maybe watch on Hulu, YouTube, wherever. We wanted to do something fun, so we thought we'd get together, pick three of our favorite shows, and we're going to start it. We'll tell you when, assuming Tanner can find the remote, and Another we'll tell remote? you what show it is, tell okay. you hit play, and then we're just going to tell you some fun stories, things that we didn't get a chance to tell you before, mm -hmm. and uh, I think Hold, we should get keep, to it. Keep talking for okay, just well, a second. If, if you pour yourself a drink, we have we have some lovely Moscow mules. Thank you, Mr. Faust. So, you know, really it's, been a long, an emotional support it's been a long animal. time since we've shot the show, but we can and settle it. You know, we became good friends on the show. We didn't get a chance to really keep in touch mm -hmm. good much. Friends? We've had, I mean, we had... They're okay, guys. We had the best. We basically we shot for 150 days a year. We did 750 days of filming. That's a lot of dinners and mm. lunches and six breakfast. and a half years, 72 shows. And right. then all of a sudden it was over, and it was a, true. You, so we, you know we still I like missed to you. be. I'll be honest with you. I missed you. I missed. If you were you wondering, TV's a weird place. We didn't get canceled, but it's hard to explain that to people that two entities like could make a co-production of a show and they get in a fight and the ones that are wrong mm -hmm. have too much pride to say, I'm sorry, we were wrong and it wasn't history. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to, uh, we want to go make our own show that's going to be fun. We think uh, Three Idiots and Cards is a pretty good formula. So we're starting with... Uh, this is RVs. This is season three. If oh, you're yeah. on Hulu, this is season three. This is the RV show. Just a warning: <clears throat> the shows that you see on Hulu are not for U.S. consumption, so they still they're uncensored. Okay. Yeah, there's a they there, are they just have some bad words. bomb which, in there, which means which means we were uncensored, right? Yeah. So let's all right hit play. So we just started. You know when we made that Miata? Do you know why I picked the numbers 36 on there? Why no. is that? That was for uh, Elsie and Millie because we only had two oh, girls at the uh, time, right? Yeah, so that's now, what Lady that means. Elsie and Millie are your Did children. You? Yes. And your third one and now Hattie. feels pretty alienated probably. She's like, Dad, why can't can you not superimpose that? Mm -hmm. So this RV trip, this idea started uh, because while we were doing the show, all three of us had other jobs, mm -hmm. right? Like you were doing, uh, at first you were doing... Rescue Me. Yeah, you were still doing Rescue Me, first season two. Then you did Nurse Jackie. Mm -hmm. I was still traveling, covering NASCAR. Tanner was going back and forth to Europe. So this particular week worked out really well because I still had to go to work on Sunday at the NASCAR race. <laughs> so we shot it the whole week before. Yeah. And then Tanner showed up in this 928 with a rocket on the Oh, room. my gosh. It was awesome. They said, um, we're going to do a show about RVs. This is going to be around Rutledge's uh, NASCAR event. We're going to go to NASCAR races. I said, sounds awesome. Um, there's like, is there any RV you've ever wanted? I was like... I've always wanted an RV that would do 140 miles an hour. Like, right, I right. don't think there's one on the planet. Mm -mm. And, you know, it's all about big, bold, break records. So this one did That's a what it's about. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It was so funny. Ambitious but crap. That's and a lot of the, of the yeah. uh, people yeah. always ask. So the show wasn't scripted in any way. The producers always knew, like, they had a plan. They knew how they were going to punish us. But we did not know. So mm. this was one of the original ideas when... When BBC <laughs> sold the show to history, it was like, oh, we'll do a few iconic ones. So they had, the, the UK guys had done some sort of RV before, but everything that we did, we tried to do our in way. our own way, i.e., here comes the flat iron there building. There you go. See, I'm from New York. I took a piece of New York with me. So I think that's, I'm going to say a 72 Buick Centurion oh, convertible. Man. That thing And was I put awesome. the flat iron building on top of it, a little piece of home. It was so heavy. I know. You, you had airbags underneath the rear suspension and popped both of them. Yeah, well, I didn't have them there for long. <laughs> Day one. This yeah. was, no, to, to be fair, we haven't pre-watched the show or anything no. like this. I'm sort of seeing this for the first time in six, seven, eight years. Mm -hmm. um, and now just <laughs> remembering the day, and at this moment is when I realized the, the train was off the rails. <laughs> Like it was, there's <laughs> the chandelier in there was yeah. too. You have a it was too it's much. Right. In you there. showed up with a rocket on a 928. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. This is the moment yeah, you realize yeah, yeah. the train was I off the rails. Mine seemed reasonable. It was 140 it's miles an hour. Like you know? if owning a Porsche isn't enough of like a phallic joke for yeah. so many people, then to put a gigantic rocket on the roof uh -huh. really said a lot. But then too, like every time you saw the Flatiron Building, yeah, it it was so off-putting to everyone. <laughs> 
<laughs> just, and it, let's be honest, there are a lot of people in North Carolina, they've never heard of it. No. Nope. They just thought, what's this Yankee doing with yeah. the house on top He's of his car? He's got a piece of cheese on that thing. I don't oh, get it. I forgot about your oh, And then here I come. Here he comes. People gave me so much crap for all the cars that I drove on Top Gear, and they're like, why did you pick such crap cars? They're like, this might surprise you. I really loved crappy cars. I still do. But <laughs> that, that Civic Wagon I wanted for so long. It must have been cold. You covered wow. up your... Plaid. Oh yeah, that was funny. BBC would make you cover up all your logos, mm -hmm. um, but the UK guys didn't, and that was always a fun That's conversation. Great. So this was, if you're watching along now, it, it looks like a, a crappy Honda. It gets into a bigger crappy Honda in about two seconds. I yes. remember this, talking about how this was going to work, where you pull the handbrake to kind of hold the back. Yeah, yeah it would yeah. just lock the rear brakes yeah, yeah, yeah. and drive forward <laughs> to extend it. I remember that. I sketched it. Here's what was cool. I sketched this on a napkin, mm -hmm. and then... I actually, it might have been Greg. Um, Greg might sketch on a napkin for me because I have terrible drawings, but I wrote it on a napkin as we were in a hotel. Because Top Gear would call us and say, you know, sometimes they'd say, hey, you got um, three grand and you need to go 150 miles an hour. And so we just start putting our own ideas out uh -huh. there. Most of the time it was kind of like a race to see who could email first. It was to usually get the car me. You wanted. Yeah, it was usually me. And then I would start sending Craigslist links. But this was one of those times where I was like, how about we just cut the car in half? And then it can have like a gigantic tent. And yeah. this is what we made. I'm, you should see the ideas they didn't take. Oh, there's so many bad ones. We had a, we had a ton of bad ideas. Oh, that's right. You put the toilet in the passenger seat. Of yeah. Because oh, you didn't think of ventilation, right. did you? You know what? Now, I, I watch a lot of that main cabin masters. I mm -hmm. could have put like a little composting toilet. Uh, now you gross. probably figure out how to drive on that fuel. Oh. Doo-doo. That's great. <laughs> Look at you, Rutledge. What? Nothing. What is all that? St oh, that was a, okay. So, and we're always running. We're always running to get to cars that really don't go anywhere. Personally, my favorite part of the show is the running. Yeah. And it, we didn't, for the record, no one told us to run. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> one of y'all took off one day. <laughs> we, we were always worried about missing something. Yeah. So, we, well, if they're going, I'm going. And if there's one thing Tanner loved doing on this show, oh, yeah. it's following Adam or myself. Oh, hated, no, I hated that. That's why he always oh, drove. Oh, God, so much fun. Drifting an RV? Jesus. In this, Good the times. best part is, imagine if you had just been at the RV park, like there, like, oh, like these, these people, people. Yeah. they were just hanging out, and yeah. then all of a sudden these psychos show up. Three idiots. This, oh, this is where I almost killed Mike. You, I remember all the camera guys had to stay. Away oh, from Schneier, your that's right. Yeah. Oh, I gosh. almost killed Mike behind a tree. There were all these people. So on the show, we had an amazing crew, and and to be honest, I would say probably ninety percent were with them with us the entire, the entire run, time, right? And, uh, and Mikey was one of those guys that, just like our director Rupert, would take like a Canon 5D and put themselves in incredibly <laughs> precarious places. Yeah, just to get the great angle. This get is the great, be a great shot. shot. But a lot of times they would forget to tell Us. Adam or I. And Tanner would most of the time miss them, but they, they had a little more confidence <laughs> most of the time. in his driving. We went through probably what, six or seven 5Ds over the years? No, Gosh, really? So, so many, dude. Rupert, because Rupert's sticking on a pole and then let yeah, you come by. Just, just, just dangling <laughs> stuff out. And all it. that time I hit Rupert one time. He shoved, <laughs> he shoved that thing right into the bumper of a BMW. I remember we just that. Had, we just had a miscommunication, I think. But I like this part of the time. So three seasons in, people were starting to realize that Tanner would win most of the stuff and mm -hmm. then go get to race all the... Supercars, oh, that guy spit his drink out. And people were like, this show is scripted. And we are like, no, no legitimately. No, he's a, he's a race car They driver. gave us a shot did to he, win. We did a couple times, but. Did he spit his drink out for a car? Oh, Adam that was Howard. Yeah, 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 there's Mikey. That's when you right almost there. killed him. That's In the right. bush. He killed Mike. In the bush. Again, there, he ran over that camera too. Yep, that was one. Oh, just put it right here on the firewood. Jeez, this is you great. literally stayed on top of that camera. I never even knew that. <laughs> That was such a good time. Oh, and this is why. Uh, and uh, if you look at the episode of the shirt you're wearing, you're a half mime. I have that shirt upstairs. So I don't doubt it. Love it. I remember being so mad. I was wearing an illest hoodie, and they made me cover up the little ILL, and I was like, "This is messed up. I bought this." <laughs> they were like, "No one cares, man. No one cares. Keep going." Okay, uh, little so pieces much. of black tape on everything. That was yeah. obnoxious. That's thing. a weird. Like TV has so many weird rules, and we didn't know a lot of the ones that we would kind of fall into. I was a little bit of a thicker biscuit back then. I was going to say that earlier, <laughs> but I chose not I'm to. glad you didn't, because, I mean, <laughs> well, you would yeah, sound yeah, like yeah, a yeah. jerk. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I let it, I'm very proud of you. 
He's Thank a vegan you. now. You that's think, not no, true. By the way, what wood is now vegan? That's My house true. smells like no? cauliflower. No. You're not a vegan? No, no, I just didn't have any bacon today. Oh, I was okay. making the so joke. I've been ba I've been vegan since breakfast. Oh, I, I haven't had any bacon. I okay. had some bacon. It was awesome. Maybe it did look good. Yeah, you also had good. dairy. Oh, look at your thumb Are you trick. Doing, like, freaking magic trick. Zoinks. Oh, yeah, it was his, that was, that was his, his, his Honda. That's uh, how you RV right there. If you've ever wanted proof that this show isn't scripted, I just looked at a camera and said, that's how you RV right there. Oh, gosh. That was the joy of just being an idiot and getting to show up every day at work and be yourself. Like, what a God. great time. Didn't it take about five people to put this thing together? It took about 45 minutes. Yeah. To you, gotta, put... you gotta have a week prep for your vacation to spend three days in the woods. I can't think of Aha! That was cool. Ha ha! Yeah, I made a cool. fire-breathing Buick. I had, the, had fire come out of the exhaust so we could cook. Yeah. That Is that great. what you call that? The fire breathing Buick, yes. So you can now in the shooting there was always uh, like we didn't really know exactly what the daily schedule was going to be when mm -hmm. we showed up, but right. we'd show up to this thing and and campgrounds and we'd see somebody pull out a box of lights and be like, oh god, <clears throat> we're shooting. Yeah. <laughs> we're totally. going into the night. Yeah. And they pull out firewood. It's like, oh man, we're we're yeah. really doing this. Okay. And sometimes these days would go. Sometimes Forever. they'd go. Mm -hmm. And this show, I remember it wasn't a big deal. It, when we got into the NASCAR track, I mean, I couldn't wait to shoot in the NASCAR mm -hmm. track. That was really fun because we then we took the whole crew and we walked around for a couple hours afterwards. But intro, we yeah. knew the whole time we're shooting, we knew that none of this is going to make the show. Right. Because well, we knew what's going to make it in America. <laughs> oh, it was ladies one. coming by flashing to get a oh, yeah. glass of wine, and it was like really, I didn't, I didn't get that. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. That didn't happen to me. Yeah. I, I didn't get a gun. He's walking around with a box of wine and a sign. I did That's have a wine. box of wine and a sign. That's right. <laughs> Free wine. Free wine. Show me your boobs. With a box of Franzia box yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah, it was white wine. So classy. Yeah, I'd like to so see classy. That <laughs> so yeah, they would hand us. I just got my thing up. They hand us the the challenge. It says you're going to you're going, to Charlotte. Alaska was worse because the sun never went down. Mm. We were there three times. Just kept shooting. <clears throat> that was fun. Oh, Remember that river nice. we jumped in? Did you do that? There was like the little hot oh, house yeah. and the river. And so you jump in the river for like two minutes, freeze yourself, and then and you jump the in like the little sauna house. And, it was, and in oh. Iceland, it was all hot. Because when we were in Iceland, it was the, the hot springs. And oh, that's got, right. And you got a Viking hat. <laughs> Remember the they Viking I totally hat. forgot. They made us do so much stuff that never made the well, show. Well, because they, did you ever see the photo? It would, they couldn't even tell we had <laughs> swimming suits on. We were yeah. sitting there, um, <clears throat> arms locked. Sharing like a piece of fish or something, yeah. two naked guys in a spring. Yeah, that's it. Was it looked, it looked like an appetizer for a gay cruise. <laughs> it did. And I was it running was... to get over there because it was so cold. Yeah, totally busted my ass in the snow, <laughs> wearing boxers and a Viking helmet. Oh, oh that's proud funny. time. Oh goodness! This so, yeah. was the one time you had to lead because the cameras <laughs> wouldn't be able to see the cars if I was in front or he was in front. That's right. We were like a cell phone signal. That was awesome. Like <laughs> small, medium, and large there. <laughs> but you also notice because they cut my car in half, I'm sitting in the dash, uh -huh. which is why I'm I'm not normally that close. But uh, yeah, we had to. At ninety degrees. <laughs> That's straight pipe. I, did you had to? I like the, the closed camp captioning: revving loudly, shouting. Sounded like a pack of bees just flew into my car. Do you, like, do you like it when... Oh, that was huge. So sketchy. Do you like it when people are like, why, why are you so cocky on the show? Did you, Me, have it, you gotten tired of that? Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> it just it is what it is. I guess I, yeah, I just remember when we were shooting, they would just be like, uh, I feel like we could do that once more, maybe just a, a bit more cocky dick. Yeah. <laughs> It's That's like, right. Yeah, yeah, we need more cocky well, dick on the it. radio. Uh, Something's me. I don't know. It's gosh. Just maybe a bit more. Oh, that's funny. Dick. I yeah. saw. We saw that this morning. We pulled into a parking space, and these two two guys looked at us. And Tan was like, "Oh, they're gonna get mad. I couldn't park any farther away. They're like these spaces are tiny." And then I realized, like, oh, they're oh, they're Top Gear fans. What's up, guys? Yeah. I was like, yeah, sorry, this guy, he didn't give you any room. I don't know what his problem is. Yeah, he's just a cocky dick. Have you seen the show? Have you guys seen the show? <laughs> just blow your show well, that was there. Like, when we were in Mexico, you thought we were going to get kidnapped. They were just the Top Gear time. fans taking pictures. The and he's on the radio going, guys, guys, they're, 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 they're taking pictures. They're going to grab us. I, so when we shot these sections here where we're driving down the road looking, you know, pieces to camera, mm -hmm. um, you know, when, you, when you're when you shooting the show, a little behind the scenes, there's a lead car with a producer in there on the radio, 
and they'd basically ask you questions about mm -hmm. the car. They'd ask all three of us questions like, hey, yeah. how's the car driving? And yeah. then we would just talk to ourselves. How much of an idiot are the other two guys? Right. And then they'd leave you for 30 mm -hmm. seconds to answer the What question. are you nervous about going to wherever? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're also trying your best to look at this, this camera that's set up. Our friends Greg and Roche did all the in-car stuff. So there's this amazing setup that's, that's, that's why the shots are so good in-car and they're still and it's really hard to do. If you've ever played with a GoPro, there's a reason it looks like junk when you would do it, and when professionals do it, it looks like Top Gear does. So we would have to sit there for hours sometimes talking to this tiny, inanimate object in the corner of the car it's like over here. To Tanner. It's like talking to Tanner if he's in the corner of your dash inanimate while you're looking straight, object. and then you've got two other people <laughs> in a camera car. <laughs> so the for me, there's the the faster I drive, the easier it is to talk to the camera. Yeah. Why? Everyone's um, dying to know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a more. It's made up. It's just That's the it vibration is. he's at. No, it's a hundred percent. The up. faster that yeah. I'm going through. Oh look, there was a camera car. That was a Tahoe. The easier it is to do it. Where you, the slower you drive, the easier it is. And this uh, was disagree. A constant oh man, that was, oh, that was tough. You know, I was one of those ones who uh, I'm not a precision driver by uh -huh. trade like you are. And so I you don't would, even play one on TV. No, I would try. We haven't to, hit a mark in six years. <laughs> oh man, Z Max four wide. This was awesome. I would just try to always keep the same pace. Mm -hmm. And so what would happen is Adam would tailgate because he's from New York, and Tanner would be gone. So every wide shot you see is Tanner, <laughs> then me, and Adam directly <laughs> behind me. <laughs> this is always what would end up happening. And they're like, "Hey, speed up!" I was like, oh, "I'm good. Yeah, I'm just gonna go the speed we talked about." <laughs> I thought we had a plan. That's, that's right. Oh, was I the only one at the meeting? Yeah. Where's everybody else? Mule. So, Z Max, this place is awesome. You in, must have, in so Concord. You, ba you basically hooked this whole show up. This I was kind yeah, of like your show. This was the NASCAR episode. What are we going to do about NASCAR? Well, they do RVing at NASCAR. What can we do that's cool about RVing? Yeah. Let's make up our dream RVs. So, you kind of, on this is your show. Yeah, we yes and no. We did each get kind of we, a we show. We got our own show, but yeah. this was only his show because he didn't want to fly to his next gig. Well, and I still had to be at work on fair. Sunday. Yeah. Like they, hey, they, fair they, enough. I totally at the get time, that. this would have been speech. It let me out there like, yeah, yeah, but you got to be for, there for the race. We're like, yeah. okay, so we had to shoot around it because a lot of people thought, you well, remember that? Sorry, I just remember. This what? is where we got all Max Pap. Is this the show? Do you Max wait Pap? for it. Yeah. That's oh, right. Max God, Pap is Kenny Wallace and Hermie Sadler. They were oh amazing. My gosh. And almost this was, killed me. Uh, yes, almost killed all of us. Yeah, this was so fun. All but of us. it's funny. So a lot of people thought, like after Top hey, Gear, they would see me at NASCAR and be like, "Oh, that's really cool. You found something to do afterwards." I was like, "No, no, I've been doing this Just since the whole time." Oh five, yeah. That, that's how Top Gear found me. Was from a race fan loaded something I, I did for Speed onto YouTube, oh, look at that and there gorgeous. and then so yeah, we used all these connections I had at SMI. And uh, Marcus Smith was awesome and, and let us come do all this. But to run four wide at a drag strip was you're, awesome. You're not a big guy, but when you put a helmet on... Yeah. Oh, I don't man. know why. Every single time it, it, they handed me like a small helmet. That, it, how does your whole bottom face. half of your head come out of the bottom of the helmet? I, I don't know, man. Look at that. It's not... It's Honestly, it's not it's right. It's basically like earmuffs with a cap on it. It looks like an otter being born. I always felt like out. it was Eesh. it was like a, a zit ready to pop at any second, and mm -hmm. that was my face coming out of that helmet. Just it felt so unfair. But that's you know, mm -hmm. that running joke just never got old. Okay. Was that an eight second quarter mile? Dang man. In a damn rocket <whistles> RV. That was a ten fifty. Oh, you blew a window out. Whoopsie. I have blue window out the back, and that's toilet paper. That was probably the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus Adam, the fact that you went that fast in that car is really not a good Pretty impressive. No. It's dangerous <clears throat> watching it. And then this is when I realized I don't have any brakes because the rear brakes have been disconnected and have a handbrake on. Oh, oh that's right. He you almost... turn in front of the $200,000 RV. Yeah. I had to do a donut, obviously. Oh, that's weird. You never had to do yeah. a donut every single show. Yeah, I was all just the time. realizing that he almost got T boned by an RV. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Not gonna happen. I like, Adam. That, I like that we're racing back. Oh, was that part of the gag? Okay. I think we have. Yeah, anytime, yeah, anytime the three of us have a lane in front of us, we're gonna race. That Buick could get up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? Did you just there? throw him the horn? I did. I did. You were like, I love White Snake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the show, bro. <laughs> Hello, Concord. Pour some shit. I want me. you to do a cartwheel over a Jaguar like Tony <laughs> Katane. Oh, gosh. Can you na name a Warrant song? What? I can't. You don't yeah, know my can. cherry pie. Is this what this Put is going to Put a smile on your face. 
Look, 10 miles wide. Look, 1994 and earlier, I might have a small chance after that. That's I mean, why I, I, I thought that was I gave my life to racing. I, I thought you know that why? was a lobby one. Yeah. Try to Warrant make it easy. Wait, easy. You know what the problem is? He's too shy, shy. <laughs> <laughs> hush, hush. Hi, do I? God, I hope we do the truck show. This rock stars. He's awfully thirsty. <laughs> I hope we do the truck show where Dick we can ends. play all the tiny dancer stuff again. Oh God, do we have that? Did that make somewhere? The show? Somewhere, it's just oh. brilliant. Ah, oh, we hope you're still enjoying this. Because we are. A, we're having a great time here. Oh, that's and so. Off fun. we go now. So I believe we're on a four-way drag race. Still, I believe the magic no, is left. about to happen. I'm this, pretty sure this is where we go to do the hurricane test. Oh, the hurricane oh, test. I Tell really the story about this. So. They made it was it was a, a it was a V6. They put a fan on a V6. So these these were one was a V6 and one was like an old um, helicopter uh, uh, airplane motor. Mm -hmm. They used these fans for the movie Cape Fear. And since we shot this in North Carolina, that's where they shot that. They had these. They went and rented them. It essentially created like a 70 or 80 mile an hour force wind. wind. And then some genius who tried to get us hurt said, let's go to Walmart and spend a couple hundred dollars on crap, let them throw it in front of the fan yeah. at each other. We thought, great idea. Yeah. Visually stimulating. It was <laughs> unbelievable. I don't. It's even dirty when you say it. You don't were look so... at me and say visually stimulating. <laughs> we were supposed to be in our RVs as this was happening. But Tanner got that, like, child, it was like a 13-year-old, maniacal, like, the first time you realize you can light a firecracker and throw it at someone kind of a vibe. Mm. It was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when we found nice. the Solo Cups, yep. which turned out to be missiles. Yeah, Just bullets. Weapons. Unreal yeah, what you could do with a Solo Cup. Because also, we had run out of everything. Yeah. We threw lawn chairs footballs, everything we had. Slow moving children, whatever oh, we had. Gosh. Solo cups at 90 miles an hour. I they hurt too. They, they really they do. Sting. I hope the they Porsche slap. people gave you as much crap for cutting holes in the roof thing as, as they did the VW crowd for mm, the I'm producers wrecking that I'm surprised nobody asked to buy this thing. Look at that, how much fun does that thing look? It just slides everywhere. Missile always pointed where you wanted to go. <sighs> Guys, now this is gonna blow your mind. This was about a uh, hundred yards from the end of the drag strip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we drove around. Yeah. We did. We legitimately. This is the kicker. They're like, "Hey, we got to drive to our next thing." Cool. So we get in. We drive for forty-five minutes, and I'll be damned if we didn't pull back to the same parking yeah, lot. Yeah, they just. They just. Okay, we we need the in car. And we're okay. like, wait, where are we going? So oh, there it is. Here it is. Those. So, are you know, I tried to uh, sidebar as we get into the hurricane setup. Yes. I tried to paint this rocket red. <clears throat> And you it was it was going to be too much to have a you red like rocket. A why do you shepherd that's excited? Why did home? you want to paint it red? Because uh, uh, that um, South Park episode just came out where they milked the dogs, and and yelled red rocket, red rocket. No, you don't remember that one. What an idiot! <laughs> what an idiot! I'm so sorry. If you've made it to this point, yeah, yeah I'm if so you're still sorry. here. The mules are getting. Yeah. Look, I was the way ahead of the time. <laughs> the mules are kicking. I was wearing those uh, headphones like all the hip hop kids wear their earphones when they're getting on an airplane. I was way ahead of my time with that. Did I go? F we yeah, needed sound protection for real. Oh God, you're like 10 feet. I didn't realize it was that close. That's dangerous. In water? Okay, here yeah, we go. It was okay, so it's oh rain, God. wind. Oh, it, didn't it blow the door off the moment you opened it? I forgot about the oh. water. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Oh. All right, open the so door and then it blows off. Stream, and here. he's trying to get in yeah. there. And oh, there blew the cone off. off. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's a launching pad. Yes. Oh, pink flamingos. I forgot about those. Yeah. Oh, that's see, what we created. If we, if we can get in that doorway, it'll blow through the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I, I love it. it says Rutledge laughs. Adam cackles. If you're watching <laughs> on closed captioning. Adam cackles. Oh, and didn't we have to put on rain? Oh, gear? you went out the front. I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, I missed that belt. Houston, we have a problem. So you're gonna move, why are you moving the, the car? I just have to get out of the way. Oh, oh look! Oh, it put in your F-bomb yeah. on closed captioning. <laughs> yeah, really? In case you missed it. it Thanks, it, Hulu. It, you can watch, wow. you can read it, wow. That I never was saw this amazing. Stuff like I that. forgot we all got totally soaked for this one. Fun times, what happened to your rate suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that was a fail. Oh, that's great. I think this is what That was part of the challenge, you had to put on your rain suit. Yeah, you had to so get in there. Lost. 
and then put it on. Wow. What a great idea. This is really the genius of a show. Was this your idea? No, no. of course not. No. Okay. And I didn't know, like, that's the thing. I wouldn't have designed my car with a big canvas tent that I had to set up if yeah. I knew we were going to do yeah, that. That's true. Like, it's just another way where people were like, so they scripted this? Yo, we just do dumb stuff on purpose? No, genius. They got hurricane fans. Look at us sitting. Wait, my chair's going to break. I can feel it. There it is. <laughs> Don't say a thing. Don't, don't. Don't say it. Just don't say it. Don't do so, it. Uh, sometimes, oh. you know, comedy's a tough thing. Sometimes you're like, I bet if I sit on this chair, I can break it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to just leave. I'm just give it, give it a little. <laughs> it's going to go. Just a little push. <laughs> oh, man, those picnic baskets. Did we blow the windows out of yours? I, yeah, they, if I blew it out of the drag Look yeah, at the tree. Go. Did oh, you see the tree? There they there go. Some of them, the oh, trash can. Oh, garbage can in me. <laughs> What's There's wrong genius, with you? You know, it's one of the best parts about <laughs> working on this show was just absolutely Destroying stuff. How did it yeah. not tip this thing over, man? It looks like it wants to I think to it was go. too heavy. I, I got the rain that. suit on. I You're in the oh, room. head first. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was the unedited version. That's, that's a, right. That's the, uh, that's the European trash version. Can. Trash can. You see how What's hard? wrong with you? <laughs> did you see how hard that hit the car? Wow. Well, I did. I oh painted this picture gosh. accurately. You were maniacal. About oh, this. Geez. Adam, you went for it. That is awesome. <laughs> pants are falling Losing off. my pants. <laughs> ice. A bag of ice. I didn't know you had wine that in there. That wasn't from Walmart. There. That was probably from Craft Services. You're uh, throwing our lunch at me. Man, if there's one thing Tanner loves. White wine. White wine. White wine. Mm. Speaking of, we got some Kim Crawford in the fridge, Rush. Mm. Get crazy. Give, give, give. Oh, man. What a fun time. Now, now we're really. Why are my pants off? That, well, it was a different time. That's <laughs> No, don't be. Let's not be critical. That's true. You know, I'm wearing a ten dollar plaid shirt. I got I got at Walmart, there and then I'd go. see people in the same shirt. And I'm like, hey man, where'd you get that? Same taste you did, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, this uh, this already hurts me. Y'all were a little bit out for blood at this point because. You had both been hit. But we'd by run stuff. out of most of the yeah, stuff. We, yeah, we used all this, the other the stuff. I disagree. We had the same amount of stuff. No, they we would, didn't. Yes, they would reset it. They'd find with half the same of it. amount of stuff. But the, the, the hurricane thing shot that stuff to the next county. Yeah, the pink flamingos are still in. They it. got wings, flamingos. Course, They're not coming well, back. Well, let's see if Jackass here throws another trash can. All right. What's the, what's the over under? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. I'm going to say yes, yeah. Oh, and I had to wear goggles because like, I don't glasses. look cool enough already. Yes. Wow. This tiny ass helmet. Oh, man. So mean. Here I go. Okay. Ba -ba He's opening it up. Boom. And, and my day is ruined. <laughs> there you go. See, it would just blow easy. right no, no, through. No, no. You, you, you got to get your range at first. Mm -hmm. This was a long time. We're adjusting oh, the yeah, windage yeah, and the exactly. elevation. Look at that. We're, we have scraps to throw, though. Yeah. What? Why would it come over to that side? Genius move, guy. Now, literally. Oh, oh, there goes all my stuff, too. No, it's just him throwing it at you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that purple Yo, thing? Y'all, those solo that, cups are coming by like gunshots. It was so, now so Now he's much. trying to set up his canvas, which is nothing but a big sail. Yeah, just, and I, I. There it goes. Yep, there it went. I was like, dear Lord, take this from Ooh, me. that was a chair. Did yeah. you see that thing yes. break? It's a trash <laughs> Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Just into this we was blew not you on into purpose. A field. You literally <laughs> blew me into the field. The bag of leaves. Are oh. you covering your nuts? Right yeah, now? of course I am. Oh what am I nuts? <laughs> so now oh, full no. soak. I had to take my belts off because I felt like it was gonna get ruined. So oh. now my pants are falling off. They're wet. I've got one leg in. This is now fantastic. you're backing up with one leg, in. which is so in sketchy. Yeah, one foot in the rain. <laughs> and I've driven over everything. Oh wow, that was amazing. Oh. Uh, those were fun days. We have actually. nothing they left. They were fun when you just chuck stuff. Jeez, there's nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> Your goggles are fucked up. <laughs> I like it. We're watching you laugh. Watching you laugh. <laughs> it just it immediately takes you right back. <laughs> and you're still wearing the Gorton's fisherman outfit for yeah, some I, reason. I don't know why I got that on. Like, well, I got to keep this on. Whose oh, underwear is that? I don't know, but they're mine now. <laughs> I think they blew off of you. Did they? No, oh, they yours. had to fuzz out. Literally, they write the F word yeah, in but, the closed but captioning. They, but they blurred my you're, butt crack. Blur the crack. We, That's weird. Kids out there. I have uh, I've 
HCS, you guys know, mm. uh, high crack syndrome. Yeah. Mm. It starts right between Stotches the shoulder blades. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Mule! <laughs> Did you just gag? Did you just <laughs> fake just... gag? What a oh, weirdo. It's just difficult to. It's oh, really, that's fun. Breathe. It's really good. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom soon. I hope y'all are having as right fun here. as we are. It looks like and I just did. couldn't get them off. The joke just wouldn't end. Oh, that's funny. You know, that's the real charm of this whole thing. It's all a build-up to the actual race weekend, right? Look at the, look at the way you taped you, your you nose cone. You Frankenstein your your rocket. Well, I'm we, pretty sure. Didn't you make one line on there and it looked way too phallic? Yeah. yeah. Like a big blue vein. <laughs> no, it was a pee hole. You're that, a child. That's right. You're such a child. You know what? You know what? You know what this RV needs? A urethra. That's what it needs. Well, it looks fine now. It this doesn't. is this is the greatest idea we've ever had. It's so bad, right? Now. Just we're just watching ourselves and Be making stupid. fun. What a brilliant notion! Oh, Remember the God. time we got our friends to drive all the way down here to shoot this for us? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, great, Roche. If, if it wasn't stupid enough the first time, we didn't want you to miss this. Oh boy. So this was the History 300, right? Or was no, that, that was in was. Charlotte. That was a different time. That was in was Charlotte. It? No, this was Charlotte, but that was a different time. Yeah, the History 300. I got, the, I got to wave the flag at the History 300. That's right. Oh, that's right. And, uh, so this is just a random weekend that you were working. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I still had to cover the race on Sunday. It was a good time. I stayed in a much nicer hotel, though, for once. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all did. I just, we slept I in trucks. Nice. That's true. Um, so, yeah, this interesting uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway built on a... Uh, Little spot of land that was at one time a uh, a trash dump, so mm -hmm. that's why there's so a thing called the infield a couple years ago, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not um, just your home; it's a landfill. And then right behind there is another landfill, uh, but they've done a really nice job of uh, of making that place lovely. Mm -hmm. And look at Rutledge, hey! So I think this was my first cup week. That's right. Everybody knew you here. Oh it yeah. Was, it was like walking with the mayor. It was great. It was a great. I mean, it's it's they're my people, man. Well, at the time, wasn't your show about going into the campground? Well, I would and just I, interviewing and people? still like I just go wander around and meet people and because mm -hmm. like the whole thing, it's all about the fans, right? Like otherwise, if the fans don't show up, oh that speed bump, <laughs> uh, it's you know two hundred idiots in an empty parking lot. So yeah. my job has always been to really like focus on on them, but. Um, I think at this point, I think I just held the mic open so you could hear me scrape over that speed bump is what just happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this, for me, this was so fun because it was, I got to share this side of my life with y'all. Mm -hmm. And even though, I don't think Adam had been to a race before. No. Tanner, I don't think you'd been to a NASCAR race. You'd been to one at like Pikes Peak when the right, Bush when Series ran there. Right, I worked there. I'd been at, exactly. But this was a cup weekend and it... <laughs> Yeah, slide yeah. on in. There you go. Jackass. It's weird. I got a reputation as, as a, like the guy who always slid into anywhere. Mm. That's weird. Hey, Roche. Captain. What'd you call him? Captain what Drift Pants saying? or something? What, yeah. we, we had so many we names. So many we names would just for him. What's the... come up with and be idiots. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, guys. Is this when the this wasn't the bumper dumper? No, that was Alaska. Somebody showed up with a crapper. It was a bucket with a yeah, toilet seat. A taping on top. bucket. Was it Biffle? Remember yeah, a bunch of yeah, a bunch, a bunch of my of, friends came you, by. They came by. I think Greg Biffle. I think Carl Edwards you say, came yeah, by. Listen, you guys got to go. I figured you know you know, use the camper and you know you know in the camper bumper dumper. Yeah, yeah. You this, oh, we're that? cooking hot dogs on the flamethrower. The bumper dumper we had in Alaska. It's a toilet seat that hooked in the hitch. The tow hitch. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And then y'all tried this, to kill this me. One I, oh, there's the, the box. There's the box of yeah. wine. This was such a good free wine. What free, a creep! Yeah. What was the? We, we, yeah, just <laughs> what a just dirty. creep, man. No, no oh, relative no shame, no reason. Well, yeah. oh, the reason was to get people to vote for our RV. So you were giving away free oh, wine. Oh, Kenny Wallace, there's my guy. Love Kenny. He uh, was, he was, he still is oh, that's, as crazy that's one as ever. Had. Yeah, so I, I didn't Man realize I just was sitting there alone with the sign, drinking the wine Free myself. Wine, drinking your wine, waiting for, waiting for women to walk into your web. Ugh. Ugh, gosh. I can't believe I convinced Kenny to get in there. You know that seat's still wet from the hurricane. <laughs> this is what I attracted with my It doesn't wine. have enough room inside to party. <laughs> yeah. So you're giving away boxed wine and telling people there's not, there's not a ton of room to party in there. Yeah, you, just, you, know, you look in there if you party. want. Party. All dudes. Oh, hey. Party. I dried it all out. Oh, party. Yeah, they seem impressed. God, this guy's <laughs> wasted. 
I forgot that you cooked the hot dog with yeah. the exhaust. And then That's gave it to the dog. Terrible. That's right, yeah, and I was giving away hot dogs. And the dogs came by. I was very popular with the pets. Oh, man. And you then, had a keg. Then here's me. I don't drink beer. I've never drank a beer, and I'm trying to tap a keg. That's the best. That was a... There's Carl. He appeared in many of our shows, didn't he? Yeah, we did in Miami three. one, too. Yeah. Remember you tried to take that shortcut through the uh, palm tree farm? He and I did a team... We almost wrecked that yes. minivan. <laughs> we did a teen driver training program <clears throat> before he was racing NASCAR. Yeah. There's Greg so. Biffle. Mm -hmm. The Biff. And he went in. I got him to go in. I said, unlike Tanner's, you can actually enter mine. Oh, dude, he loved it. Gre so Greg also does the, uh, he has this race at his mountain property around Thanksgiving where he gives his friends a bunch of old crown We picks. were going to do that. That's right. And you just go oh, race. Oh, God, that sounds like a blast. On his property. It's weird. I don't, I don't even know how I know how to pour beer. I remember this lady. She, oh, boy, yeah. she loved she her some shattered. Tanner Faust and some free box wine. She was shattered. Come on. Yeah, come on. I think she climbed right up into that rocket. I beg your pardon? Excuse me? What? Hmm? Mm hmm? Hmm? I mean, you know these things are recording. One more time? <laughs> <laughs> this guy had a squirrel in a box. It's oh! Oh! Forgot about that. Then it looks like you're cooking the squirrel. Is that the squirrel? No, no, it wasn't the squirrel. I'm not gonna... I, I, you Come know, on by. What wine? Grab a wiener, you yeah. said to people. <laughs> this yeah. whole thing is creepy. <laughs> yeah. Come on in That's and party. I've got box people. wide. Yeah. Come on by and grab a And wiener. then I'm telling yeah. people there's a crapper in the passenger seat. Oh, this, this dog was brilliant. your best friend forever. Yeah, he loved me. This was so fun. And then we went and walked around the infield. Oh, oh hey, big, girl. That big right. girl was chasing you around. You know, big chicks dig me. That's <laughs> what right. What can I say? That, that's your Well, I mean, house. I was like, from the three of us, you know, mm -hmm. they were, I, Tanner was too skinny mm -hmm. for them. Right. I don't mean like a big girl. I mean like a big girl. Like yeah. a, and I appreciate it. I That's need all it. the fans we can get. Love is love, baby. That's it. But boy, they were that night, they were drunk and they would come say hello. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy sleeping in your rocket? Did you? I, well, your red rocket? I went to the hotel shortly after. I mean, what? Sound, yeah. What, what is this? You television? <laughs> what is this? You, you didn't hotel? do what you I said used. you did? I could have slept in there, though. You could have. Yeah. Oh, this now, is the track. Except we're it was across the street wet. at the dirt track, which is next to the Z-Max Dragway, four mm -hmm. wide. And guys, this is what happens when you ask friends if they want to come race. And the, by the way, the facility was unbelievable. Amazing. They opened they up took great everything. They care of us. They let us Did you run a GRC race there? They did I something. I did, too. Too. In the dirt track, yep, right? on the dirt track. That was awesome. And out into the pavement and then back in again. That's right. The, the track right. was rad, actually. Wait, I rolled oh, no, one year. We, Cars for Life, we did a dirt track race. This wasn't there. We did that in L.A. That, yeah. That's the one where the okay, dude almost for the, record, the water truck. They the are bringing the, the... We found these three different RVs. Max Pappas, Hermie Sadler, and Kenny Wallace strapping in. These guys were Water. amazing. Man, they, they got these so things good. to move. And they were like I wouldn't have I wouldn't have rolled these things. No, know, keep in mind these were so I think we bought these from Tom Johnson RV, which is right next door, right? Mm -hmm. So these would have been like trade-ins. They were all running, driving for the record, way nicer than our RVs. Mm -hmm. And then we said go, and it was a mistake. From did, the did they very just insure them or did they beginning. buy them? No, we bought them for like okay. twenty five hundred bucks okay. a piece, and then we gave them to former racers. Who, is this the one where we found a pair of shorts, a rifle, and a tube top? That was my Airstream that, that was I the bought. Airstream? Yeah. And it, has, it, has, it had a gun with the serial number scratched, scratched off. off. Yeah, this dropped is, I remember. Jesus. I remember, I think, Greg walking for two hours around the track looking for GoPros. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Right. Yeah, because you guys got to realize, yeah. every, every shot you see, there's a camera there. And when we wreck stuff, cameras take a punch, too. So Greg yeah. just walks around muttering, we're like a, a metal detector. Oh, bitch. What was awesome oh, is it? Bitch. So if you look at this shot, oh, there's me totally, <laughs> totally scared. So Kenny and Hermie, both of my uh, coworkers at the time, right? We all worked at Speed Channel. There we go. So they're like, yeah, this is be great. And then Max is amazing. You know, IndyCar, everything else you ever run. Max is, in the kindest way, a total psycho behind the wheel in this thing. Like he would have flipped all of us. To he win. did. 
He, yeah, he kind of Look at you sliding. God, you know that what? Was, I'm out in front. I forget that we're making a TV show as soon as we say go mm. on all these things. I mean, look at the laughter they have. It's so for real. It's so stupid. And I w- I'll be honest, I kind of wish we had gotten around the big RVs mm-hmm. on the track. Yeah, I would not have been, been so ugh. fun. They, really? They, this thing they was laid so them down. top heavy. One of them laid over, right? Mm-hmm, well, I think at least. Yeah. yeah, well, he's coming to get me now. Watch. Oh, yeah. But they ha- these all had like 454s. You must have been genuinely scared. Who? I w- Adam. Yeah. I would say both of us. Because yeah. if, if, if those RVs didn't kill me, my RV was going to yeah, kill yeah, me. That thing yeah. was so top heavy. I could not run any faster. Front wheel drive. But I backed up that track. one. Max was chopped, closing the door there uh-huh. with the Whoop. flare. Whoop. They were not told to not oh, hit oh, us. Oh, 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 That was <laughs> driving in. That was it. Oh, yeah, Max. That was Looked awesome. Like he was trying to lay that over. He really did. He saved it, though. That's some real car control. And then he got back out there. <laughs> I think we had to put a race seat in those of some sort, but nope, not no, wrong. Not a no. race seat. No, I don't know why That's I thought that. That's why I was that. amazed because it genuinely looked like he was trying to lay that over, and and he would have been on the low side there. That yeah, that would have not been those so fun. Were... Oh, oh that was... man, he was Aha! all over you. I know. I I, kept, I I'm up on the high side. I'm like, I can't get in front of him. This thing is mad. Max. Here it comes. Give him a little bit. Here low it pit comes. maneuver. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Gentle. Here it comes. I'm on the other side of the track, and I can see, like, well, they're really close. The oh, oh. There it is. Oh. Good douche. Boof. It took so long for that thing to fall over. I remember I remember feeling it and looking down, going, well, that looks welded. I'll put my arm on that. And Is that welded? Oh, yeah. Do I have enough time yeah. as this thing is slowly creeping You're over? You're laughing. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. You can tell Max was a bit worried about you. No, that was, that was, that was scary but fun. And then I think we paused for about eight seconds to let you get out of the car, yeah. and then we just kept going. I don't know if I wanted to scratch that Porsche. If there was the any one car, with the rocket on the roof. If there was any car, I would have kept. Probably Dude, windshield's been. out of the RV. Max has lost his windshield. There's a bumper. There's a wheel. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. That was, I mean, that was our oh! That was so good. Why don't we? See, that's what. We just need to go wreck stuff together. All right. Let's start with the house. Okay. There okay. we go. There it is. I'm trying to come out of it. He now. climbs out. Oh, oh you are in there everywhere. still. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not safe at all. Just dodge the house that's on the ground <laughs> sideways. That rocket's majestic. It, is that is that what you would call that? Mm-hmm. Majestic. It is. Look how fast that is. The hard thing about <laughs> editing a show like this is. They destroyed those RVs in about 45 seconds. Yeah. So you have basically two laps to cut in to when it's happening. Oh, I didn't know I was still running. That's amazing. Did your car crap out? It did. I guess. Look, there's no front of that RV. The whole front is gone. But yeah, see, that's the thing. These drivers wrecked these RVs so quickly that they could... Continuity goes out the window quickly. That's the notion of like, oh, it'll look the same on lap five that does on lap one. No. Nope. Let's, uh, let's just go back and redo the start. <laughs> and they look like this <laughs> with no front end. Gone. The back bumpers are all gone. I totally won. That See, that's joy. That's genuine excitement. That's fun. I, what happened? I thought you got wrecked. You just... Mm. I so I knew the one that got wrecked. Or something. Um, or maybe you lost the battery. I, something. Did it genuinely die? It did. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I I don't remember what happened, but yeah, it was something like that. Some people that, think like you weren't always that easy on cars. They would be wrong. I what? Think. What? No. What? <laughs> oh, there's no doubt. That remember I, when we I did the, the logging show? Out of cars? Are you kidding me? The trucking. We, we off road trucking with the yeah. lot. Oh God. That was so fun. And, and the best part was the guy that let me drive his truck. He's like, I, I mean, he can drive my truck, but Tanner can't drive it. <laughs> well, if you're talking about semi, like big trucks, oh, man. yeah. Oh, no, you're you're a magician in big trucks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I, you. Oh, guys, that was so me. fun. I that was so that fun. I can't believe y'all had to ride in the back of that. That's how we got home. That yeah. was a good time. Wow. So that was the Hulu version of... RVs. RVs. It's season three. Shoot. Episode nine. No, right, hold on. You guys need to talk. Talk. So Hope I can you... st- pause this before it's it goes okay. to the next episode. Hey, they won't know. You don't know? Okay. Yeah. Just we're okay. Go. All no right, one can we're see it. Hey, right. thanks for we'll watching. We're going to do uh, we're gonna do two more of these. Uh, we'd love it if you will share this with your friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to make some t-shirts, Speedy Beard Eating the Mole. 
Uh, and hopefully you like this. We're going to go back to work at some point. Go make another fun show about three well, idiots. That's the next episode. And let, us, and let us know any other episodes that you'd like to see. Yeah. Um, Tell us your favorite. Make sure you're following us at Rutledge Wood, at Tanner Faust, at Adam Ferrara. And we sure appreciate you watching. Peace. See ya.